Hey, what's up guys? It's Rob and welcome to my tutorial for The Transforming Double Ninja Star. So I got a comment recently on my Ninja Star Boomerang from Nicole and her son Nate asking if it's possible to connect two of them together to make a sort of double Ninja Star Boomerang. And while I didn't have much success with that, I was able to come up with a double Ninja Star based on that design. I posted a picture of it on my community tab and it seems most people really wanted to see it. One comment asked if I just stacked two ninja stars together, which is not the case, but today I'm going to show you how to make it. Before we start, if you do enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and also subscribe and click that notification bell if you haven't already. We'll need a whole printer sheet to make it, but if you want to use different colors then you can do that as well. So once you have your paper, let's get to it. To make the transforming double ninja star from a single sheet, we'll need to split it into quarters. I'm going to be using red and blue for this tutorial, but you can use an all white sheet or whatever colors you like. Holding both sheets in a portrait orientation with the shorter ends on top and bottom, I'm going to first split the paper in half by folding the top to the bottom and then tearing or cutting it. We can then fold them once more and split them into quarters. From the quarters now, we're going to be creating two identical clockwise locking pieces, which I'm making in blue and look like this, and two identical counterclockwise pieces, which I'm making in red and look like this. As you can see, the pieces are mirror images of one another. So let's start by making the blue clockwise pieces first and set the rest of the papers aside. To make the first clockwise piece, take the paper and fold it in half by lining up the two edges just like this. Once you line it up, just walk your finger across it, and then we can sharpen the crease by just running our fingernail against it. Take the left edge and fold it across to the right edge like this. Once they're lined up, then you can just crease on the left side here and just make another firm crease. Open it up so that it's a mountain fold, and you'll see we divided the paper in half along this vertical line. The right side and the top edge is going to be folded directly down onto that vertical line. Once you do that and you line it up, make a nice sharp crease on the right side. The left side and the bottom edge is going to be folded up so that this edge meets that one. Fold the left edge up and make a crease on the left side now. Then you could flip it upside down. We're going to take this top edge and fold it down to the bottom by just taking the paper, rounding it off a bit, and folding it so that it meets the bottom edge. Then you can once again make a nice sharp crease on the top and just run your fingernail against it. The bottom edge here on the bottom right is going to be folded to the top. So just do the same thing, crease it like this, round it off, and line up the edges just like that. Once again make a nice sharp crease. We're going to open up these edges and we're just going to airplane fold these corners to the middle just like that. Do the same on the other side. So just airplane the corners in so that the top edge is on the middle. And do the same with the left side. So now your paper should look like this. We're just going to reclose this bottom right edge by folding it up like that and giving it a good pinch. And reclose the top left by just pushing down like that and creasing it. Just flatten everything out. As you'll notice, we have a diamond here on the front, whereas on the back it's split. On the right side of this diamond, this corner, right at this little edge, we're just going to take the bottom right arm and fold it to the left like this. Make sure that this outer edge here lines up with this one. So just fold it like that, and then give it a pinch. The top left arm now is going to be folded to the right on the same point. Fold it to the right like this and then make another crease. Then you could flatten everything out and you've finished the first clockwise piece. You could tell it's clockwise because the top arm is facing to the right and the bottom is facing to the left even if you flip it upside down. We can then make another clockwise piece and when we're finished we then have two identical pieces. The counterclockwise and clockwise pieces are nearly the same. So let's just fold it down in half first and then take the left side and again fold it in half, splitting it down the middle. When we open it up to make the counterclockwise piece, the left side will go down first and then the right side will be up. Then we could just make it the same exact way. So just flip it over, top edge goes down here, bottom edge goes up, 
You can open it and airplane fold these corners in. And then you could reclose these edges. The top arm here is going to go to the left side right at this point. And the bottom is going to go to the right. Flatten it out. And then you can make one more and we're done with all the pieces. So make one more counterclockwise piece, and when we're done, we'll have all the pieces we need. Now that we've finished all four pieces, we can interlock them. And just be sure that you have one set of clockwise pieces and one set of counterclockwise, meaning that the clockwise one has the top to the right, bottom to the left, and the counterclockwise one is the opposite with the top to the left and bottom to the right. Grab both of your clockwise pieces now, and we're just going to open it so that the arms are flat like this. Take the other one, open it up, and twist it like this so that the arms are up and down. And put the diamond on the top one here over this one, just like that. Then we're just going to close it in a clockwise direction. So, just start with one of them by going one, two, then three... And then finally, the fourth one goes over the third one and underneath the first one. So, just lift up the first one right here, like this, leaving a little bit of space. And then you could round this off a little bit, tuck it into that little opening, and just pull it all the way through. And just make sure everything is nice and flat. You can kind of tug on each of these arms like this, and then flatten it out. Now, we're going to take the clockwise ninja star and flip it upside down. And as you'll see, we have a little sleeve here on the back. And it's this sleeve that allows the other ninja star to kind of lock into it. What we're going to do is just hold the ninja star like this. And you're going to take one of the counterclockwise pieces and open it. As you'll see, if you look here at the diamond, this edge and this edge are facing in the upper right direction like that. Now, if you take the sleeve and you hold it like this, you'll also see this edge and this edge are in the same direction. That's the way you want it. Now we're going to take the point of the counterclockwise one, slide it underneath the sleeve here like that, and get it across. Now, if it gets stuck in there, you might need to lift the sleeve up a little bit and work it through. But just slide it all the way up to the diamond. So just pull it through until the diamond is in line with the sleeve. You see that? So you see the edge is right next to the edge of the sleeve on the back? Just like that, that's how you want it. We are interlocking the counterclockwise one now, so take the other red one and open it up. Hold it on top so that the arms are flat, horizontal. Place it right in the middle of that sleeve, like that, so that the corners of the diamond line up with the corners right here. Now we're going to lock it in a counterclockwise direction. So, doesn't matter which one you take, just take one, and then we're going this way, two, three, and then finally the fourth one again goes over here and under there. So just lift up the first one and then hold this down like that, round it off, and slide it right into that opening right there. Then just flatten everything out, make sure everything's nice and flat. And there you go. You have finished the double transforming ninja star. Just flatten it out really well. And then, to make it transform, as you can see, it looks like this one ninja star, but if you turn it counterclockwise by just taking both your hands and just turning it like this, you'll see it will kind of shift like that. And you can move it around a little bit like that, you see? It might twist a little better in certain ways. And then you can also put it back and then twist it clockwise if you want, like that. See, that works a little bit better. So one way might twist a little nicer than the other, like that. And then you could twist it back. So there you go. There is your double transforming ninja star. To throw it, I found that it flies a little bit better if you hold it like this with the points facing up to the right, and then you flick it out like a frisbee. Let's throw two at the same time. Whoa.
Thanks again for watching my tutorial for the Transforming Double Ninja Star. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I think it's really cool. If you did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the Transforming Double Ninja Star and what you might like to see next. I hope you're all enjoying your summer. I've been getting a lot of sun, as you guys can tell. I've been going out a lot on the water on my new jet ski uh, to some of the islands around me in the water. And I've seen a lot of different right wildlife. He's only 17. He's got to go back. And uh, caught some fish also, day, but buddy. this one unfortunately was not a keeper. Thanks again for all the support, and I'll see you soon.